My name is Amanda. Welcome to day four of Joy, our Advent series at Cross Point. Today, the title is What Advent is All About, and the scripture is Mark 10 45. And that verse says, Even the Son of Man came not to be served, but to serve, and to give his life as a ransom for many. As I was preparing for today, I was reminded of a story about one of my children. My husband and I have three kids, and we were packing them all up one day after church um, here at Cross Point, getting them in our car, and we started driving off campus. Thankfully, we drove right by the front doors, and I realized about halfway down that sidewalk that my now 10-year-old was not in the car. (laughs) She came out about 20 seconds after I had that realization and looked very offended. Um, Between you and me, to this day, she thinks we were just driving around to pick her up. (laughs) I didn't want to hurt her feelings, although I guess now she knows. So, sorry, Kinley. (laughs) But that just got me thinking of how Jesus approaches us when we are lost. And how even in the depth of our our sin and no matter how far we are from him, that he came to be with us. And that's actually what Advent means is to come. And so that's what we celebrate this season is the coming of Jesus. Philippians 2, 6 through 7 tells us that Jesus left heaven to come be with us. And he came to serve. And what a wonderful example, just like Mark 10, 45 says that he came to serve, not to be served. We can use that example as we go throughout this holiday season, as we interact with people, with the world around us, uh, that we can approach people with humility and with love and looking for how we can serve them, not what they can do for us this Christmas season. And this also makes me think of all the gifts that go into the Christmas season. Um, It is definitely easy to get distracted by them because who doesn't love a good gift? I love a gift probably more than even the next person, but those gifts pale in comparison to the gift of Jesus coming from heaven to be with us, to die on that cross. And that is something to rejoice over this Christmas season. Let's pray. Father, we praise your name. We are so thankful for your son, Jesus. We are thankful that you sent him to be with us that he came even in our even how lost we were father that he came thank you for this christmas season we love you jesus in your name amen thank you for joining us today we'll see you tomorrow for day five